Macau, New Zealand just never stop to stop amazing us really. So we've done our three nights in Reefton and really got underneath all the history and what went on in the area and how it came to be. And um, met some of the locals and had great chats, stayed at a great camping ground. So win, win, win. So we are departing Reefton today on a rather misty cold. It's one thing I can say about Reefton, so it does get really cold. Um, and we're going to be northbound. We've got plan A, B and C locked in, so um, always have an alternative if uh, the first one doesn't work out, so more on that one later. Departure time. We didn't get far. <laughs> Only just drove 50 metres down the road. We decided we're going to stop and grab a coffee to go. <laughs> didn't get far, Scotty. I oh, know. stop from Reefton and we are at Spring Creek Hall and Reserve and it is a uh, what they call a cap charges apply property through the NZMCA and this is costing us three dollars each per night to park up here beautiful flat spot hard hard um, grounds not hard stand but uh, the ground is really quite hard considering um, there's been um, rain earlier on and um, yeah it's it's really quiet so we're the only ones here at the moment although it is only just gone two o'clock so Spring Creek is um, you go through Wakefield and Brightwater and you're heading on to Richmond and then to Nelson Nice quiet night here at uh, Spring Creek, which is just the way we like it. Um, it's good to think that we're off the main road because we can hear the main road in the distance and it would actually be quite noisy I think if you were parked up there. But um, you're the only ones here, us with all our friends. So we're just going to be heading out and heading up towards the sound. So. Once again, not a not a, a long drive. So lovely and serene, Okiwi Bay. We have arrived. Quite a nice sheltered little bay here in the sounds, heading on up to French Cove and there we are and tonight we decided to stay in what we call a cap charges apply property and that's where you pay, it's just on private property and we're paying $8 a night for the two of us to stay there and park over public toilets just up the road right on the beachfront. Now it's time to go for a wander. We've put aside the whole day today for exploring this arm of the sounds. So um, from Okiwi Bay where we're parked up, um, up to the French Pass to overlook Dieuville Island, uh, the sign tells us that it's 40 kilometres and um, so many people have given me feedback on um, our Facebook page that it is a great drive. So looking forward to it, um, it's a bit more cloudy today than it, what, it, what it was yesterday, we had brilliant blue sky which was nice to see for a change because it's been a while. Um, and the temperatures were way better last night <laughs> they were, they were than nice. Reefton and Spring Creek. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, good day on the sounds today.
lookout that um, you can wander down to have a look at French Pass. Now this is right at the tip of the arm, this arm of the sounds. And this is quite a notorious stretch of water and as you can see there's a really strong tidal flow through this narrow channel between the mainland where we're standing and Deuville Island on the other. Now this is reputed to be the most strongest tidal flow in New Zealand and back in the year 2000 there was a group of divers that got caught in the, um, in the tidal flow and they got sucked into a whirlpool and sucked down. Mm, you can see them forming. Yeah, yeah, you can see a number of whirlpools here forming. And they got sucked down and um, a number of them actually died. So from the lookout, if you take the other fork in the path, it leads you down to a beach. A bit of a goat track. I don't think you'd want to pack a barbecue to bring with you, but it's beautiful. So this is just on the other side of the lookout. detour off the road coming back from um, French Pass and we thought we might go down and have a look at Sissy Bay and we've come to a fork in the road as you can see in the background there and um, we had no intention of going to Bulwer because it's an extra 25 k's of windy road and the beach access isn't that good from what I've read and I don't really feel like going for another 20 k to Port Liga and there is no beach access down to Sissy Bay. So we're going to turn around at this point and go back. And also, no camping past this point. Well, we've made it to Elaine Bay. Now, Elaine Bay was actually our second choice after Okiwi. Mm. And we were um, in two minds as to where, which one we should stay at. Um, and at Elaine, it's a dock camp, um, so no facilities. I th oh yeah, there are toilets over there, but quite a nice outlook. But it's twice the price of what we're paying at our cat property in Okiwi, so it's eight dollars each per night. Um, and the ground is actually really boggy. Like, yeah, there's puddles of mud there. Then you'd have. A, a bit of problem if you, especially if you're in a front wheel drive, and um, up here is a bit harder, but it's certainly not very big. I actually thought it'd be bigger than this, but as I say, nice outlook. Very pleased that we chose where we're at in Okiwi. No 